Welcome to New Vision TV's Pearl of Africa Diaries with me, Roth Naseje. And today's adventure is Kidepo National Park. Now, this national park is found in Karamoja region, northeast of Uganda. Interesting that Kidepo are its animals, the savanna region that travels through the park, and above all this experience is the Ugandan adventure. So join me on this trip through Kidepo National Park. Kidepo Valley National Park is a park like no other, filled with almost 100% of Uganda's wildlife, be it animals, flora, or the world experience. The National Park is in the northeastern region of Uganda, particularly in Kabong District. A trip to Kidepo is either by road transport or by air. Whichever way you decide to reach here, be assured of the greatest experience. The first reception here is by the Karimijong and the Ik tribe. These introduce to you one of Uganda's diverse cultures, from the dances to the food and then the craftworks. All these are a representation of the people in the north. <laughs> After a fantastic reception, the ride through Kidepo Valley National Park starts. This is what I call the feel of meeting the wild. Kidepo covers 1,442 square kilometers. It is mainly covered with ranched savanna, dominated by the 2,750 meters Mount Morongole, and transected by the Kidepo and Naros rivers. It is bordered by the Kidepo Game Reserve in the north. Uh, maybe, maybe we should try. Yeah. She is out of the country. The, the council, the honorary council. Now, this park was gazetted in 1962 and despite being located in the most remote side of Uganda, it boasts of being the third most beautiful in Africa as per the CNN rankings. Ten years later, it became fully operational. Uh, briefly about the park, the park was gazetted in 1962 and uh, it was established in 1972 as a national park. And by the time the park was being gazetted, it had about 77 mammal species, which includes the African Big Four, I mean Big Five. Uh, but one of them got extinct, like the rhinos got extinct. But the other Big Four still exist which consists of the buffaloes, the elephants, the lions, the leopards. And other than those ones, we have uh, other species like the hillans, the zebras, the, jack uh, the jackson's artebeast, the giraffes, among the few. Yeah. Kidepo derives its name from its seasonal river called Kidepo. The word Kidepo in Inga Krimujong, a local dialect, means picking up something from down. You could describe Kidepo Valley National Park as conservation on a large piece of land at its best. Each and every wild animal species you could ever imagine is here. To get to these creatures, a travel guide has to give an orientation and thereafter we hit the road. If you trace the road, that's crazy. This game drive takes about three to four hours through the park. What follows are encounters with animals. What is that? <laughs> Maybe there's a lion. Herds of antelopes feeding on grass, groups of buffaloes wandering around, zebras minding their business among so many animals. Enjoy their stay here. Oh, yeah. 
some have even become friends just like the lion and the buffalo in the smart another encounter was with the convocation of eagles generally the eastern animal you can fail to get closer to while at kidepo the fierce lions also take a nap as they watch the passers by but how is this park managed we talked to johnson masereka the manager of kidepo valley national park we have quite a number of our staff numbering 180 and these are here for law enforcement principally though some of them do the tourism uh, activities but the majority are for law enforcement uh, we have to ensure that there is enough water for the animals in the park like now it is a drought at times we may have to ferry water for the animals where it is intense but uh, for, and we have also put up dams these are valley dams to make sure that uh, there is water for animals during the uh, dry season uh, security ways we are armed by government and we make sure that uh, intruders like from South Sudan don't come in to kill animals. On the Uganda side, we also work with the communities as informers so that should there be an incident where people want to go and poach, we often get information before the poaching takes place and we arrest these people. Most of them we prosecute in courts of law. Kidepo hosts more than 77 mammals and about 475 birds and 692 plant species. The park has 28 unique animal species not found anywhere else in Uganda. These include striped hyena, hard wolf, caracal, cheetah, greater and lesser kadu, clip springer, dick dick, brightest gazelle, and Chandler's mountain redback. The occasional animal visitors to the park from South Sudan include the African wild dogs. Other animals in Kidepo but also found in other parks in Uganda are the African elephant, waterback, Jackson's heart beast, lions, leopards, and both black back and a side stripped jackal. These have led to the increasing number of tourists to the park. And last financial year, we got 5,902. This year, I expect more than that because last month alone, I had over 1,100 visitors in a single month. So if we can start getting 1,000 visitors in a single month, we should be heading to about 10,000 visitors in a year. So we've seen tourist numbers grow from uh, 2012 when we, were, when we got that accolade and I think the numbers will continue growing. Besides the animals, there are other activities one could engage in while at Kidepo. Much as the game drives help with traversing through the park, this is also another interesting activity tourists engage in unknowingly. Experiencing the beauty of a road drive in the wild is quite an adventure. See, when I was in here, lady, uh, made fake, made fake, yeah. Kidepo National Park also has places for natural and bushwalks. There is nothing interesting like moving through the wild on foot. What better way would you love to discover what is hidden in the park than searching for it on foot? Kidepo is also a great place for birders. There are very many bird species here. What they're repeating is the Karmoja culture. The Karmoja people are warrior nomads, and the Karmoja region has often been called the Wild West of Uganda. When Uganda was a British protectorate, they simply left this area alone. Their pride is their cattle, and in the past, cattle raids were the rule of the day. The Karmoja are known to differ from the Ik people. It will require one to climb up into the Murungori Mountains to visit them. The Ik tribe is said to be one of the original tribes in the Northeast Uganda area.
We can only end this adventure when we talk about the camps surrounding Kidepo Valley National Park. At the end of the day, there is no other place you would wish to go to other than a comfortable bed in a comfortable place. That's why these camps are there to give you a fantastic night after a great, sweet, and long day. I was surprised to be to LA so many times. <laughs> okay. So, I always tell you that adventures on New Vision TV's Pearl of Africa Diaries never end with Mirror Naseje. So join me next time for yet another better and interesting adventure. Thank you.